Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's customer webinar. Thanks very much for attending today. My name is Brian. I'm the Director of Account Management here at Boopsie Pro Library. And I'm real excited to talk about our latest uh, integration for your mobile apps, uh, Access 360, which is the uh, digital media service provided by uh, Baker and Taylor. So a real good partner of ours. And if you uh, do currently have an Access 360 account, we'd love to add the integration to your app right away, hopefully this week. Um, and if you're just thinking about purchasing titles from Access 360 or subscribing to the service, uh, hopefully this will be some good information to show you how it does work uh, in your, your mobile app. It does work similar to our OverDrive or 3M Cloud Library integrations as well. Uh, so I'll show you some uh, uh, some demos of the of the integration. Show you where um, where we're going as well with with all of our integrations, including Access 360. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, type them into the dashboard there, um, and I can leave a, a couple minutes for Q and A if you do have anything. Access 360 may not be uh, quite as well known uh, to everyone in your library, so it might be a good good chance to answer some questions about the, the new integration and service. So next week we have a webinar um, Wednesday the, on October 22nd, 1 p.m. Eastern, same time. And we're going to be talking about our brand new OverDrive integration. Uh, it's an embedded reader in your app through the OverDrive Read software that does take away the Adobe ID step and helps your patrons just read ebooks directly through your app. They never actually even leave. It's, it's a really, really cool service and I um, hope you can join us next week. Also, we're attending a, a couple of conferences, uh, a few conferences in the next two months. So if you, have, uh, if you are traveling or, or attending any of these shows, please do stop by. Uh, next week, um, our Director of Business Development, Megan Vicini, will be uh, exhibiting at the New England Library Association, the NILA 2014 conference. That's in uh, good old Boxborough, Massachusetts. So please do stop by if you're attending. And then um, in about two weeks, just a little bit south of where we are, Monterey, California, uh, the Internet Librarian 2014 conference is taking place. We'll be at booth 203. I uh, really hope I'll be there as well. Hope you can stop by. Um, a lot of some exciting things going on there, so hopefully we can we can see you there if you're attending. Uh, East Coast, uh, we are also going to the NILA, the New York Library Association conference, uh, early November in Saratoga Springs, and then we will also be attending the California Library Association conference just in our backyard in Oakland. So that's that's also early November, and uh, we're at booth two one seven. We should have quite a, uh, quite a few of our team members there from Bootsy. So uh, definitely stop by and we'll, we'll be hosting some events as well. So hopefully you can join us for that. Okay, so before I get too deep into the webinar, I have to uh, just let everybody know that you know you should be rooting for the Giants. I'm sure you are, whether you're from the area or not. Uh, the Giants now are just two wins away from the World Series, which you know that would be their third World Series in five years, but I'm sure you all know that. So go Giants. We're huge Giants fans here at Poopsie. Okay, so enough of that uh, silliness. We'll uh, move on to Access 360. Um, Baker and Taylor is a star partner of ours. We're working really closely with, with their team to on this integration and for future projects as well. Access 360 has uh, close to 500,000 titles available. Um, the reader is really nice. It, it stands apart because of its um, functionality and uh, user user kind of experience with you know color books um, for kids books, and cookbooks, and um, picture books. Uh, it also does have popular novels though, so it's a good it's a good service and spans a, a wide range of of patrons and users. And I'll show you uh, how that, some of that looks in a few minutes here. Um, the Access Reader integration is the, the reader that we integrate with for the Access 360 product. So I'll show you how that works, but it's, it, it's pretty seamless. Um, and if you do have OverDrive or maybe 3M Cloud Library integrated into your app, you'll be familiar with how it works. It's, 
it's embedded into your app so you can search the catalog within the app and then we will take you right to the Access 360 Reader uh, mobile app. And that does work with all iOS devices. I'm going to show you how it looks on an iPad mini here. And then uh, all Android devices, phones and tablets, and the Kindle Fire as well, which is a nice experience. Uh, we have just recently started working with Bayer and Taylor to, um, so we can access the entire Access 360 digital uh, catalog you know, from any smartphone or tablet. And as you know, so just last year, you know, over 80% of um, Americans' time spent on their mobile devices was on mobile apps, native mobile apps. Um, so the, only about 20% was on mobile websites. And there's, um, you know, a lot of reasons for that. Native mobile apps take advantage of all the, the devices' functionality. Um, there's a better user experience. And it's, um, there's far less abandonment because it's, it's designed for your, your device specifically. And uh, so we leverage the Access 360 API so now your patrons can discover, check out, and download ebooks and audiobooks directly to their devices, the, to their devices, and really seamless, easy, and straightforward in-app experience. Okay, here's a really nice quote here from uh, George Coe, the President and CEO of Baker and Taylor, uh, regarding our new partnership and integration. Uh, Access 360 was also upgraded kind of re uh, recently. There was a new version of it. Um, it was designed to improve the visual appeal and experience for your library users. And if you do own it, I hope you've seen that the site administration and collection management tools were also improved. Uh, significantly. So the company's uh, Access 360 digital media circulation platform, it, uh, the back-end system for you, is quite improved. And the service, is, the experience is just more intuitive now. It uh, helps the users uh, discover and access digital materials. And now the, the, the customized staff picks magic wall displays are very nice, including those notifications things that you've already seen, probably seen in the website, the desktop version, um, which we hope to incorporate more into the mobile app version from what you'll see here. So here is a picture of the Magic Wall at Marin County Free Library, one of our customers, uh, pretty close. And I just wanted to show you how it looks on a mobile device. So hopefully you can see my screen here now. This is an iPad mini that I'm just uh, using a software called Reflector for to, to mirror the device. And this is the Marin County Free Library uh, website here. You might notice it's, it's not a responsive website, um, but it's not, it's not bad. And uh, what they've done too is you can see there's the, uh, a link at the very top of the screen to download the app. And it uh, knows I'm on a, an iOS device. So it would take you right to the Apple App Store uh, to download the app, which is a, a much better experience um, because of the device I'm on. So I'm just showing you they have, um, they do have a very nice website, uh, a lot of book covers and Hoopla right there, um, but it's not designed for a, a, a tablet or a uh, mobile device. And uh, if you go to the downloads section here, you can uh, see they have 3M Cloud Library available, EBSCO, one click digital, uh, Hoopla, but for our purposes, I'll go to the Access 360 database, and I'll slowly bring up uh, the, the Access 360 titles here. Um, and it's just not ideal. I mean, look how many covers there are, and, and I can't zoom in, so it is pretty small. And even if I uh, switch to landscape mode, it, it's just not a great experience on this device. I, I don't. I would not personally use it more than once. Okay, so as you go to uh, one of the titles here, it's a little bit better. It gets a little bit bigger, but it still is uh, is not not ideal. And there's just a lot of information on the screen, and and it uh, it's not something I would continue to use on my uh, on my tablet. And you can imagine, even on a phone, it's even worse. So so that's why we we do these integrations. It's a much better experience for your patrons. 
Okay, so let me bring you into the uh, current Access360 integration that we have just recently created. Um, I'm going to show you the integration on the uh, Torrent Public Library mobile app here. And Torrent actually uses Access360, Access 360, sorry, as their primary ebook platform. So they do not use Overdrive or 3M or, or anything like that, in TV, some, anything like that. They exclusively use Tor um, Access 360. So they do include you know, the popular titles like uh, Game of Thrones and, and Grisham titles, uh, in addition to the, the children's titles and uh, cookbooks and nonfiction, things like that, uh, for, for all their, the different age ranges of their patrons. So uh, going to the eBooks channel on, and the menu, this is the Access 360 menu. I could just uh, go to my digital account, but we will uh, search the catalog here, and you can see the, the popular titles at the top, the, the Game of Thrones books, um, Battle Ander books, and um, other uh, popular titles. So just like Overdrive, you can search. Um, if you're just looking for a, a new book to read, you can just browse through the popular titles and see the, uh, the book covers here. Or if you are looking for something specific, you can, of course, type it into the, uh, the search box at the top. And the great thing about Access 360, again, is I, I think that the color it shows on the Access Reader. So if I am looking for a cookbook, it's great for this, this environment. And it's as simple. I'm at the, on the detail page. I'll check out now. And all my information is uh, saved in here. Library card number, PIN, and Access 360 password. This is probably the main thing you do after you have to tell your patrons. And it's a simple thing you can put on your website. Uh, they will have to create an Access 360 password uh, or username, login, password on your website or on the Access 360 website. You cannot do that through the app, unfortunately. So they could just leave and uh, go through the, their mobile browser. And if you'd like, we can also put some information like that on this page to, to direct them to do that. That's probably not the most intuitive way. And that's probably the one roadblock that you're going to need to train your staff and patrons on. But once you do it once, it's really easy. You put that in, and it, our apps will save that information on their device here. So I'm hitting Submit uh, to log into my account and then actually download that, that cookbook that I just uh, hit Check Out Now on. And as you can see here, it goes right into my Access 360 Reader account. It shows what I've just downloaded. I could go to a Summary to check out everything that I've, uh, or to look at my entire account, my, all my checkouts. So you, you have, I have no requests, but I do have three items checked out, including that cookbook I just, uh, just checked out. So let's click on that, and as you just saw, it took me directly to the Access Reader app. So the first time, of course, you will have to download that. If it's not already on your device, we will take you to the appropriate app store. So hopefully it's easy, it's a free app. That's not really a big deal, but we'll take you right in there. You log in once, never have to log in again. And when you check out items, it goes directly to your Access Reader bookshelf. My connection is a little slow right now with everything I have uh, working on my computer, but it should work pretty soon here. Okay, and the download was successful, so I will read now. And as you can see, it's just a really nice, colorful reader, and it looks really, really great on my, my iPad here. And this is something some other, uh, a lot of the other readers don't show. They don't have this great, colorful experience that really mirrors the, the print, the print book. Perfect for cookbooks and, and children's books. And that's really pretty. I can just look at the food. I'm starving right now. So I hope I'm not making everybody too hungry, but this is great. So I would uh, definitely recommend this Chops cookbook. Looks cool. And the Access Reader, you may or may not have used it, but uh, you can do a lot of great things on it. You can search the search contents of the titles, uh, place bookmarks, look at the info. 
And then there's the settings up here so I can change my font, uh, change the text size, margin width, put it to night mode if I prefer. There's also some advanced settings that the Access Reader app has that I really like. Uh, they have multiple page turn options, so if I want to do a flip, I, can, I think it'll be on night mode here. And as you can see, I switched it, the page turning to flip, and that's a cool experience to kind of mirror a print book, which we all love. So I'll put that back on to day mode. And you can change text color where that's enabled, themes, a lot of different options for reading there. So really slick, nice looking Access Reader app. I really like it. And then I can just go to my bookshelf and see the other items I've checked out, uh, novels and children's books. I checked out Curious George so we could all see the uh, how that looks, and, I'm, and it saved my page turning setting as well here, so it's doing the flip. And you can see the great, the great art from Curious George here. So really nice reader. I think it offers some things that a lot of other readers don't offer. I really like it. Okay, so that is our brand new current uh, and current Access 360 integration. It works just in your mobile app. You can search the search the database in your mobile app, check out titles, and go directly to the Access Reader. So we also have a, a planned integration, which will be even more in depth. If you're familiar with our Comics Plus Library Edition service, this is a, uh, a browser-based reader, embedded reader, right in the app. So you never actually have to download anything additional. You can just do everything within your library mobile app. So let me bring that up right here. Okay, so you can see my screen again. This is the, uh, a demo app on our iPad Mini. When I click on the comic book channel, the, the first time you do log in, you will use your library card number and PIN or whichever authentication you use, whether it's last name, library card number, uh, or just library card number, no PIN, something like that. We can use whatever you use. Um, and you go directly into the uh, comics catalog. And you can browse by publisher or search for a specific title publisher as well. So this is where we're going with all of our integrations, including Access 360. This is the reason I'm showing you that. Um, so it's the same kind of initial search function, searching within the catalog. When I click on an item, it is checked out, and then I click it, click on it, and it's an embedded reader right into the app. So I'm not leaving. I'm still in the library mobile app here, reading directly in the mobile app. It's a really nice experience. Of course, landscape mode works fine, and then you can have the menu on the left. Really easy. And these comics look great as well, and the Access 360 titles, including those cookbooks, are, are also going to look great. So that, that's the planned integration, and that's what we're planning to do. We're talking a little, it's somewhat similar to our OverDrive read integration, which we'll be talking about next week, and there's just a lot of potential there. I'm really excited. This is where we're going to go with all of our mobile apps and all of our integrations, and something that we can offer in your library mobile app that, that nobody else can offer. Okay, great. So uh, a little bit about pricing. Uh, there isn't pricing specifically for the integration for Access 360. We, um, if you're Optimum Plus, I'm already an Optimum Plus customer, and if, if you're not, I recommend that you, you do look into that, and I'm happy to, to share with you what that would take. Um, you can basically have as many integrations in your app as you like, um, everything that, that uh, you include at your library, overdrive, video, one-click digital, 3M Cloud Library, now Access 360. 
Um, we say there's seven integrations included, but we're, we're happy to add more as well if you do have those. Uh, if you're just an Optimum customer, uh, which probably the majority of our customers, uh, we can either just add it in as, as one of your two integrations in addition to OverDrive or, or whatever you use, uh, or get you up to Optimum Plus, and then it's you know the sky's, sky's the limit. You can add as many as you would like. So just let me know. You can always just email me to see uh, what your current contract is, what your current feature set uh, includes. Um, but we'd love to get Access 360 integrated into your app, just provide a better value for your patrons. That's what, really what we're trying to do, is, and including all those services that you offer at your library in your mobile app as well, just to, to really make your mobile app the virtual door to your library. Uh, again, feel free to, to email me, brian at boopsy.com, if you uh, do want to know more about the integration or just want to get started on, on adding it to your app. Uh, feel free to let me know if you have any questions. Uh, you can email me later or just type them into the question box right now. Uh, next week, Wednesday the 22nd, is that OverDrive read, uh, the embedded reader integration. Uh, it's at 1 p.m. Eastern. And then uh, please do uh, visit us if you're attending either the New England Library Association Conference, Internet Librarian in Monterey, uh, the New York or the California statewide conferences. Uh, but that's so that's all I have for today. So go Giants tonight. Game uh, game four is tonight. Giants are up 2-1. So uh, hopefully uh, you'll, you'll all be rooting for them. And if uh, you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call or email me anytime. Thank you so much.